James uh, down here in the front row. Um, the end of the third quarter, the Vikings tie the game at 10, and it just seemed like the offense had that quick touchdown drive. How much was there sort of a change in approach that you noticed as to how you guys attacked at that time? Uh, we just needed a sense of urgency. Um, just take the momentum back over. So we knew once we got the ball back, we need to score a touchdown. So we had a few big plays, and well, Josh had a few big plays there, and we got in the end zone. It was exactly what we needed. To follow up on that, you mentioned Josh. Uh, what, what has he brought to the team? Because you saw like he wasn't really involved up to that point, and then it sort of changed pretty quickly. Yeah, I mean, it happens like that sometimes. Uh, you might not get the ball at first, but then when your time's called, I mean, I think we have a lot of guys like that. They, they're ready to make the play, and he made some big catches for us and kind of changed the game a little bit. Uh, James, uh, first half, uh, I think your first two or two of your first three drives were very long drives. Got 10 points out of that long drive in the uh, fourth quarter to go ahead. What do those long drives mean to this offense? Because in years past, very much a quick strike offense. Seems like you guys are very good at long, keeping the ball away from them now. Well, I mean, they have a good defense, and that's the type of defense they are. They're going to make you drive the ball down the field. <clears throat> Every drive is not going to be a three play, three play drive and a touchdown. So you got to be able to string those drives together. And whenever you can do that, once you get the ball in the red zone, you need to score touchdowns. You can't just turn those into field goals. So that was something we always emphasize. James, uh, Rex Burke had returned from injury today. What was it like to have him back in the backfield with you? Oh, it was always a plus to have you know more weapons back there. He's a good football player, can catch, run, block. He makes plays on special teams too. So you know I'm happy for him to be back out there, and I mean, he'll continue to, to help us out. So if you could expand on your answer about Brady and the 1,000 yards. Oh, well. If you knew I, it on the field when it happened. No, I didn't know at the time. Uh, I was reminded after the game, but it's pretty cool for him. I know it took a while to get there, but still a great accomplishment. Uh, I mean, he's broken all type of records and did all type of things, so I'm definitely happy for him. And James, the uh, other James with a big day, two touchdowns. How happy do you feel for him as part of the running back group? I mean, it is awesome. Um, not many teams use a fullback across the league. We're, we are one that do, and he makes plays for us, not just blocking, he catches it. He's getting touchdowns. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely well deserved for him. And I mean, he works hard for us each and every week. And fullback on special teams just does whatever needs to be done. So, he's a great player and a great teammate. James, as often as you guys ran screen plays today against Minnesota, what does that do to a defense like theirs? They've got a lot of guys who obviously can get after the quarterback. Whether you have a big play or not, just the residual effect of um, the screen game. Could slow down their rush a little bit. Um, you know, a lot of those guys are good pass rushers, and they're trying to get to the quarterback so they can slow them down or, you know, just kind of give the offense alignment a, a break versus that aggressive pass rush. So, I mean, we didn't do as well on every single one of them, but I think they still helped us out in the end.